So today guys, I'm just doing a short video um, telling you how to control a cheapo electric garage heater like this with a Wi-Fi thermostat. Uh, this is a feature that really it isn't uh, available on a lot of these cheaper heaters. You have to go to something that costs three, four, five, six hundred dollars before they'll let you do it. Almost everything's got this little turn uh, thermometer and three stages of heat. Um, and what I'm going to show you is going to let you kind of pick which of those three levels of heat you want it to trigger at. It's not going to be able to do anything else, but it will at least be able to, you know, trigger remotely and do a schedule. And for things like uh, Minnesota wrenching in the middle of the winter anyway, I can turn this thing on remotely with my app while I leave work. And in the night, it'll be at least a little bit warmer in here when I'm ready to work on the car. So that being said, let me show you what I've done here. I've got this cheapo $80 comfort zone 5 kilowatt heater. And inside, I've got my 10 gauge wire here. Uh, that should be plenty for um, this model. You may have to go to 8 gauge if you have a, uh, a higher end, more power consumption <laughs> happy model. So this box right here, that lug in the middle, is the only thing that's normally in here when you buy it new. And that basically just has your two phases of 120 going into it, and everything else is controlled by your thermostat. So I figured there's really no way to bypass that thermostat because it uses both phases. So what I did was I found a contactor what that's called which is just a little electromagnetic switch for 240 and I just got this working so I will clean this up I promise don't make yours look like mine <laughs> but what that thing does is it takes a 24 volt AC signal and it's this module right here uh, and it charges an electric coil which pulls a giant copper plate closed and it contacts the 240 volts straight through so I've got the power coming in from my breaker into the contactor I've got my two phases here and then I've got my two phases out that go into the lug here, factory lug on the heater. The only thing I've done beyond that is a power transformer for my thermostat. I'm actually going to turn this down to 3,000 watts. So that is right here. You're going to need a beefy one. I recommend this exact Packard unit. I believe it's, what is it, 40 VA? Uh, this coil takes quite a bit of power to snap shut, so get something pretty skookum. Uh, and that, you're just going to hook up one leg of it. And this, if you're an electrician, you're going to hate me because it's not going to be a balanced circuit, but it just doesn't matter. Hook it up to one of the two phases of the hots there, the black wire, which is your 120 volt hot, and then your common, hook up to the common wire coming from your, uh, from your breaker panel. And then this thing is going to be energized all the time, regardless of whether the heat's on or not. And that's important because your thermostat needs to be on irrespective of whether the heater is triggered or not. So after you've done that, the only thing you have to really do is get the thermostat power. So I'm using a Honeywell uh, RTH 9580 or something. And I've only got three wires going to it. And I'm using the standard color code. I've got C, which is red, or sorry, C, which is blue, uh, R, which is red, and heat, or W, which is white. So let me show you kind of where those go. Um, the green and the red wires coming out of my AC transformer are 24 volts AC. There's no polarity, it doesn't matter. So I've got one of those branched straight into the R on my uh, thermostat. I've got the C wire bridged. Is that right? Yeah. Yes, it is. I've got the C wire bridged to the thermostat and to one side of the coil. So it's important that those are on the same circuit. And again, use spades. I just got this going. I'm not going to leave it like this. And on the other side of the coil up here, you can see my W trigger heat wire. And that goes to the thermostat as well. So basically what that's doing is your completed circuit here with that is giving your thermostat power. And when this thing snaps its relay on, it's sending the value from your R wire to your W wire, and that snaps the coil shut. So right now, if I go into my thermostat, sorry for the videography, and I turn it to off, my contactor opens and the heater shuts off. Very, very cool. <clears throat> so I just wanted to show you guys that because I couldn't find anything online that actually 
mentioned somebody doing this, and I think it's a really, really cool thing to be able to do. Um, because these heaters are great, actually. Um, they produce a lot of heat for how much they cost. They're pretty compact, and they're really versatile with the ability to control them uh, with a thermostat. So anyway, I hope that helped. Uh, if you have any further questions, I'm certainly happy to answer them to the best of my ability. I'm not a licensed HVAC technician. I'm not an electrician. So please do any of this at your own risk. But this is what I did in my garage, and it's working beautifully. So hopefully that helped again once again. <laughs> Thanks for watching.